you need to view change as an opportunity. And if anything, change is accelerating from when I first started in the company to today. Uh, this, it, it really has uh, uh, accelerated. And, and when I talk about change, what I'm talking about is the environment we operate in. You know, it's a global economy today. That wasn't the case uh, when I started. It's about working in an industry that's consolidating. It's about having competitors that uh, are all over the world and really don't care where we came from. It's what's, where are they going and how are they going to be successful. And our customers, our customers are consolidating. And so we may have a great position at one customer and the next day they get acquired by someone that, that with, a, with, uh, with a different uh, f uh, ownership from a foreign country. Well, maybe the decisions are going to be made differently or in a different geography, in a different location. Uh, technology uh, has changed uh, uh, dramatically. Uh, Every job I've ever had, my hope was that the day I left, that that would be the day that was the brightest future that that company ever had, and there would be a management team in place to fulfill those future prospects. And, um, and, and I believe we will achieve that uh, in, my, in, my own, in my own case. Um, but I hope the company continues to be willing to address the fact that things change all the time. I have every reason to believe that it will based on, based on a long history of doing that. And um, uh, I have every reason and expectation that it's going to do that. Where we're headed today is the right place for us to be headed. Our strategic direction and, and what we're doing, I don't think there's any doubt about it. It's all about execution. And I think if you look at, at, at what's happened to this company, uh, we have adapted, uh, which is probably the only reason that we're, we're still around. <laughs> um, and and you, could, you could look at uh, the fixed resistor as a buggy whip, which you know, would have gone out and, and, and would have put us out of business if we just stayed there. But then the PLC came in, and then the drive came in, and we were aggressively, aggressively molding this business into something different. The ability to deal with change, I think, is enormously important. And that's one thing I give the, uh, a lot of credit to the people in this company that, uh, that they've been able to deal with, uh, with change. And, um, and it's not the easiest thing in the world to do because it means that you're going to have to do something different than maybe what got you to where you are. And it, our, our company has, has had a, uh, a long history of success and when you're successful, it's hard to change that. And, uh, the, but the ability to do that, and of course, that's why we're celebrating the 100-year anniversary, by the way, is the ability to make these changes over a long, over a long period of time. And I think it takes, uh, it takes good, strong leadership that can artic articulate why these changes are necessary, but it takes people in the organization that are willing to make those changes to, to uh, not just uh, survive, but uh, to prosper. And uh, survival to me is not, not a goal. <laughs> Prosperous uh, operations uh, is a lot more important. <laughs>